Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. I was going to come to you all live and do a bit of camera up and chat. But unfortunately, I found out where our Krabby Bob, our jeweler, has been. If you're new to the channel, we have a jeweler who we refer to as Krabby Bob. Um, he's been missing in action for a few weeks. And I found out he's at home. He is recovering, but he did have a massive heart attack. So be wonderful if you kept him in your prayers. Yeah, not not feeling like really, you know, camera up chatting tonight. So the Saturday preview. Now, I brought a few of these things to you this week. You've seen the big, fabulous, heavy. These are the largest gold pencils, retractable, nine karat gold pencils that I've had. I didn't mention they're all hand chased. Not one, this would have been a wax seal as well. They're, these are just, I mean, I hate to say it because I've had other ones, but these are just the most beautiful example of gold pencils. I, I won't be upset if I don't sell them, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, I am here to sell. Um, Valentine's Day is coming, so don't forget. I've got a smaller and a medium to large gold heart bracelets. Nine karat gold, rose gold, Victorian, both of them. I have some Victorian brooches out, so we might as well bring out a Victorian opal bracelet before I list this one on first dibs for more than twice than what I have on it here on the channel. Art Deco Opal Butterfly. These are all crystal opals. Antique Art Nouveau brooch or pendant. We have brooch converters. Victorian opal. This one's 15 carat. And the pin is 9 carat. Tiny seed pearls. How gorgeous is that? Of course, you cannot see the liveliness of those opals. Now, I just put one opal earring away because I couldn't find one. <laughs> I have a couple pairs of gold and opal earrings. Also, another fantastic Valentine's Day gift for someone or yourself. Beautiful diamond pendant. New with tags. Very nice diamond. Um, I think this is amethyst crystal. I haven't tested it. That's terrible. Gold fob. I have a couple fobs out. This one is onyx to chalcedony. Again, different than, you know, the typical. I have a tiny or one out. Onyx and... Carnelian. A couple gold fobs this week. Fabulous. Antique rose gold chain. That's a representation of the British crown. Uh, I have a couple gold hearts available. I think I have, yes, this one is antique. Oh, there's the other opal earring. Anyway, it had migrated over to the pearl earrings. That's the antique. It's pierced and rose gold. So, you know, hearts are all the rage for Valentine's Day. Fabulous Victorian aesthetic gold earrings. Edwardian. I 
Art Nouveau, 15 karat. 15 karat gold. That fabulous Art Nouveau amethyst and pearl necklace. Of course, we have to bring out a few gold cameos. Just wouldn't be the channel if we didn't have some gold cameos out. Huge, you can see the size of how big that one is. Victorian, early Victorian, late Georgian. Georgian. Victorian filigree necklace. I love this little fat cherub. He's Victorian as well. Just brass gilt. 14 karat gold, mutton fat. And these are cranes and ginkgo. I thought they were cherry blossom, but when I looked at them closer, I'm gonna get up close and show you that this is, it's been tested for nephrite. It is mutton fat. Not only valuable, it is supposedly very lucky. Um, and as far as wealth. Uh, cranes represent femininity. And they're among the four popular animals, dragons, tigers, tortoise, and cranes. And the ginkgo represents hope, friendship, and invincibility. So you're meant to be invincible, wealthy, all these lovely things. I'm a dragon, so we do very well with jade. That's my Chinese horoscope. Speaking of which, fabulous Art Deco, artic you know, articulating snake. Of course, I have it in gold as well. A, a ton. We're not going to go through all the charms, but there are a ton of charm, silver charms. This fantastic teapot pendant, a silver. This one's more modern. I had this before in like cobalt. I love it in the emerald, but it's sterling. There are like fireflies and fairies and irises. It's just beautiful. Of course, that's uranium. So I like a bit of uranium here and Art Deco. I have some hat pins. Uranium among them. Uh, there's also a uranium ring. You can see that I've been to Birmingham. And yes, I did get my hands on some fantastic silver. Oh, of course, this is a Victorian design, but a more modern necklace. They're longer. Heart and chains with a toggle clasp. I love this one. I want you, I will show you the comps. This locket retails for $479. Of course, it's solid sterling enameled. And that is not on this like 60 gram chain. All of this is sterling, and I'll weigh it up for you and give you the comps on this locket. I'm so terrible with lockets with these nails. There we go. Not only did I think that was fabulous. Where is the... Oh, here it is. Now... That has a 
a bell that opens. So you can put it on a big chain, you can put it on pearls. Big, fabulous enameled Fabergé style. Egg pendant. We'll take a quick look at the earrings. Sorry that I mixed them in. Oh, there's another, oh, one of those gorgeous and gray, antique engraved gold hearts. Sterling, diamond, and pearls. Of course, I had to get a pair from my girls that like their clip earrings. Art Deco pearls and marcasite. Enamel, these beautiful enamel blue starfish. I need to Google that mark. I know I know it. I know they're designer and they're probably Danish. There is a tiny enamel loss, unfortunately. These are diamonds and pearls. They're black peacock pearls, gray peacock pearls. I love this style of earring where the back comes around the front. Just gives a little depth to your earrings. What did I do with the other opal? Oh, only have a nose. Yeah, there's large. Platinum pearls. Um, not really going to go through all of the charms, but there are a ton. There are cats, there are teapots, little antique egg cups, churches, Lord's Prayer, gypsy caravan, um, one pound note. You know, we don't have those anymore. It's coin here. Uh, mermaid on a seahorse. <laughs> Just uh, thimbles. Wedding bells, fairies, antique telephones, horses, cradles, loads of dogs, poodles, boxer, that's an antique, um, very early Eiffel Tower, um, German Shepherd, a pig, a Toby jar. If you know anything about British culture, you'll know what a toe jar is. Uh, bird cage with a bird. One of those big articulated, I've never seen one before. It has little Dutch children. Um, seen a ton of windmills, but never the whole scene. An enamel fruit basket. Uh, big antique teapot articulated. I think that's another caravan. There are just loads. Uh, London Bridge. This one has Lord's Prayer and the pages are silver. They're not paper. Um, look how beautiful that little shoe is. Little Dutch shoe with enamel roses. Uh, this one's newer, but I thought it was so cute. Pink lipstick. And there's red lipstick, and there are loads of Scottish charms, and pixies, and just, you name it, it's here. Now, I have, do I have a ton more charms? Yes, I do. But I'm only going to bring out a handful. Because we, we just don't have time to go through them all. Um, since we're doing silver, I might as well pull back and show you some of the silver bracelets. Now, you can see, you, if you're new to the channel, you won't know, but these are usually 60 plus grams and I have them to in the 30s, I want to say. Then there's the Mahusev charm bracelet with, I'll show you those charms. These are like pendant charms. They're huge. It's 
kind of charm bracelet I actually like. Now, this is new. Engraved heart, enameled lucky bean, teapots, tassels, pigs, dancing bears, bells, man in the moon, swinging monkeys. Uh, that is a mercury dime from 19, I think 1922, 1920 or 1922. An elephant, a terrier, an antique tennis racket, these big, fabulous, crazy looking cats, almost Cheshire looking. Uh, hope, faith, and charity, a tiger, an antique thimble. Another little Scotty dog. Um, that I believe is Mason's. And another antique cat, looks like a Siamese cat. Yeah, this one is probably Edwardian Early Art Deco. It has a little a few Vic elements. Maybe, you know, might have been I build I've been building mine, some of mine for forever. Let's just put it that way. A long time. This one is Art Deco with the teapot, the stork, the fish, the antique typewriter. Very specific. I might even take the charms off of this and just sell the Art Deco bracelet. Now, this one I'd rather leave as is because it's 1930s, 1940s, and it's all original. Tons of silver, pounds and pounds of silver. Speaking of pounds and pounds. I think I have more, I know I have more pearls on gold, but some of them are maybe a little too expensive for the channel. Now, that's a gorgeous amethyst pearl bracelet. Of course, amethyst next month. I do have some garnets for this month. These are six and seven millimeter. They are natural pearls absolutely stunning 18 karat and diamond six gram gold class it is so chunky heavy and there's 750 Oh, I bought this in Birmingham, so I had everything XRF. I actually took some pieces up there to have XRF because their XRF is better than the one in the area here. And there's 21, 22, and 23 with this fabulous gold and pearl turquoise clasp. I'm gonna go through these bracelets, even though there are a ton of gold or silver necklaces, but we'll go through what's on the desk. Victorian. And a larger bracelet. That gorgeous pearl. Late Victorian, early Edwardian. The rose and yellow gold buckle. That's the fabulous Edwardian 18 karat golden rock crystal necklace. The Scottish Kite Homework Brooch. That's the late Georgian, early Victorian rose gold buckle ring. I haven't seen that for a while.
another big beauty, rose gold and yellow gold. I think I have too many gold bracelets. Can you have enough? Oh, that's that fantastic star necklace. And pendant, the Victorian buttons in the original case. I had loads of opals out, so why not bring out the opal hearts? I think this is the last. Yeah, the snake, the Victorian gold snake. Can't believe that's still there. Well, anyway, there are a ton of, of course, Ladies pocket watches, sterling silver and gold pocket watches, there are loads of sterling silver Victorian book chains, there's even one more than that. Some fantastic brooches. These are vintage and all beautiful. And of course there are gold rings, silver rings. Oh, that big, fabulous artist art nouveau piece. I'd say if you love antiques, you can't find it here. I don't know where you could look, but I'd be happy to have you. Say a prayer for our crappy Bob, and I will see you all tomorrow, Queens and Kings, at noon Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's 8 p.m. here in England. Thank you, Queens and Kings. I've missed you all, and I'll see you all very, very soon.